Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about a zero-day office vulnerability and Microsoft Patch Day. The big story and the one you should pay most attention to is to be aware right now that there's a criminal campaign exploiting a zero-day vulnerability in Microsoft Office. And the way they exploit it is with what appears to look like a malicious Word document. Over the past few days, a number of security vendors have found cyber criminals sending out millions of emails that seem to have a Word attachment in the email. In reality, the attachment is a rich text format document. And if you open the document, it it uh, leverages a previously unfixed vulnerability in Office and WordPad, uh, something that has to do with object linking and embedding, and it leverages that flaw to forcefully download malware onto your computer. A few of those security companies also mentioned that this campaign is pushing some banking Trojan malware, which some companies call Drydex. In either case, since this is a previously unpatched vulnerability, it seems to be very effective at, at catching users who actually open this document, even if they're fully patched Windows 10 users. And by the way, some of the security mechanisms in Windows and in Outlook, for instance, Protected View, which are supposed to prevent certain embedded web documents from running, uh, don't seem to work with this vulnerability, so it can actually get past these security mechanisms. So what should you do about this? Well, first, you should uh, warn your users. Tell them never to kind of open Word documents in unsolicited emails, and be on the lookout for these malicious documents today. Second, there's actually a registry entry that can help. Some of the researchers published an entry, which you can see in a link in my blog post, that will actually uh, kind of mitigate this issue so it doesn't affect you. But most of of all, the good news is this is technically not zero day anymore. Today is Microsoft Patch Day, which I'll talk about in a moment, and they have released a patch to fix this. So long story short, make sure to get those Windows patches as soon as you can. Now moving on to Patch Day, do know the second Tuesday of the month today is Microsoft Patch Day. And as usual, Microsoft released a ton of fixes. Be aware this is the first month that Microsoft has stopped using their typical bulletin process and instead just have a guidance page that has over 20 pages of vulnerabilities that they fixed today. Because we no longer have the executive summary bulletin page, the main place where you can see what uh, products are fixed are on the actual release notes on this guidance page, which I'll be sure to link to in the blog post associated with this video. Long story short, they fixed tons and tons of vulnerabilities that affect many of their products, Office, Windows, Internet Explorer, Edge, and many other products. So be sure to check out those release notes. The long and short of it is if you're a Microsoft administrator, you want to go get these patches as soon as you can. I tend to think it's okay to let desktop clients automatically update, but for production servers, you probably want to test some of the server updates before pushing them to any important production server. And as an aside, do know that Adobe shares Microsoft Patch Day, so also Adobe released a bunch of alerts today. I won't cover them in detail, but they fix flaws in Flash, Adobe Acrobat and Reader, and also some uh, kind of creativity applications like the Creative Cloud in Photoshop. So be sure to also visit Adobe's security page if you're an Adobe user as well. So anyways, to summarize, just be aware of this big campaign that's leveraging CMS seemingly malicious Word documents and tell your users about it. It used to be a zero day flaw, so chances are many, many computers out there are not patched and are still susceptible to this issue. Now again, the good news though is today is patch day and this happens to be one of the zero day flaws that was patched. So my simple advice is go get those patches as soon as you can. That's it for today's news. Thanks for watching.